the previous two examples are building towards a general result that is given by the following theorem. Let x1, x2 up to xn be a random sample from a population with probability density function f of x defined on a is less than x is less than b. Well, first of all, by assuming we have something known as a random sample, that is equivalent to saying we have mutually independent and identically distributed random variables here. Second of all, by saying that these come from a population with probability density function f of x, the fact that this is a density function and not a probability mass function also says that this population must be a continuous population. Notice also that a and b do not have to be um, finite values. They are in many applications, but this could be negative infinity and this could be positive infinity. So the result here says that the joint probability density function of the order statistics x1, x2 up to xn is n factorial times f of x1, f of x2 up to f of xn for order statistics that satisfy a is less than x1 is less than x2 up to xn is less than b. The outline of this proof, and the proof is given in the textbook, uses the transformation technique and within that it turns out that the orderings from the raw data to the order statistics is an n factorial to 1 transformation and all of those transformations have Jacobians that are equal to plus or minus 1 and that will establish this result which will be illustrated on the next slide.